you guys in my end of Team Brando's design. Um, okay, so I've had a lot of people ask me, um, and I've seen a lot of posts about um, epoxying over just painted cups, um, not like glitter or anything like that, because you can always seem to get it smooth and everything else, but you can't seem to get it smooth when um, when it's just painted. So I'm going to show you guys how. Okay, first of all, I have my epoxy here, and I've let it sit now for a good seven minutes. I stirred the crap out of it for a good... 40 seconds um, before letting it sit this long and the reason is is because I want it to get thicker um, I'm going to show you guys how to work with your epoxy when it's thick as well um, I'm going to show you two different cups while I put this on one has no epoxy on it yet okay and it's vinyl on there so I'm just epoxying over regular vinyl no I didn't spray it with anything first this one is the first coat. Yes, it's got bumps. No, I have not sanded it. Okay. Um, I'm going to show you guys why I'm going to do it the way I'm going to do it. The first one is going to go first and the second one will be last because I want the epoxy to be super thick when I put it on here. Yes, it is difficult to work with. Yes, you're pulling and you're tugging and have your heat gun close because you will need to heat it up a little bit on the cup um, so that it thins out a little bit just enough for you to quickly move it around with your brush um, I'm using my silicone brush here um, I'm cleaning it off with a chamois and rubbing alcohol before I use it I clean it off after I'm after I'm done and I clean it off beforehand um, the thing about the painted cups is they tend to still, and the vinyl is, uh, tends to like the hairs tend to end up always on them, right? So it's aggravating. So you may end up with your hairs on your brush and you're like trying to pull them off. So have an extra pinch cup handy so that you can wipe that off into there. Okay. So like I said, I've set, I've let it sit now for seven and a half, eight minutes. I'm going to now heat it up. I stirred it and I let it sit until all the bubbles were gone. Now I'm going to heat it up and I'm going to make bubbles again. And then I'm going to let it sit for a little bit longer. Okay, you'll notice that it starts to get thicker when you're heating it up. Which, FYI, is why it needs to be in the warm um, environment when it's curing. The reason why I use a heat lamp and a, um, a, a space heater. And I also have, like, this little handy-dandy um, thermometer thing in my garage so that I can see what the degree is so it's always at 80 85 degrees in my garage and I have a dehumidifier as well um because I live in Texas in South Texas so it's like super humid super sticky so okay you watched me I stirred it I heated it now I'm gonna hit it one more time with the heat gun pop all those little bubbles out it's gonna be nice and thick when I put it on here <clears throat> okay um yes it's a little tough yes it seems like it's being weird like it's it's not sticking correctly and it's um it's streaking and all this other stuff and and that's okay guys because what that's doing is the the thinness of it like whenever we do um, our um, our glitter cups, the thinness gets into all of the crevices and stuff. Well, painted cups don't have crevices. So the thickness helps it not run all over the place, therefore not getting as many dimples and stuff like that. I hear people all the time like, I'm going to give up, I can't do this anymore, the dimples won't stop, da 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 Dimples can be taken care of 
holes can be taken care of in your epoxy. It's okay. Um, it tends to like not go any, if, if you thin it out like my million dollar shine epoxy method on a painted cup, it's just all going to run straight to the top and then you get this mushroom top. And that's not, you know, it's not appealing obviously. So when you let it stay, or when you let it thicken, it goes on. Yes, it seems like there's more on there. Because there is. Because it's thicker and it's not running. See? Like, it's not running as much as it would if it was if it was super thin the way that we do the, um, the glitter method. So right now, I'm literally just carefully moving the epoxy around on the cup. I'm focusing on the decal because the vinyl does seem to always give issue when you're going over your vinyl and um, it wants to like almost separate from it. Um, so having it a little bit thicker, having the epoxy thicker um, will allow you to, to just lay nicely over the top of it. Like right there, I found a hair stuck to the the vinyl. So I have my little extra pinch cup over here that I just wiped it off on. Not making sure not to wipe it in the cup with our epoxy because then it's just going to turn around and it's going to go right back on. Um, as you can see, I haven't dipped again. I'm just moving around the epoxy that's already on the cup because there's so much, you know, it's so thick. Now, guys, I get messages from y'all all the time about, you know, the dimples. They won't go away. This and that and everything else. And I understand, okay? You're, I, I get dimples, too. I get things stuck in there, too. My stuff is not perfect. I promise there is not one cup that I have done that has came out absolute perfection. This doesn't happen like impossible okay I'm not you know I don't want you guys to think that like you are you know you're following my direction and yet it's still not working for you you just have to find your own knack like may have to change something that I'm doing you don't don't be don't feel like you have to follow exact to the T if it's not working for you. Maybe change something up that will work for you. Some people still, some people use my methods, but still use the finger method instead of the silicone brushes. I like the big fat silicone brushes because they get, they cover more area quicker and then it goes on smoother. And the silicone brush can easily be cleaned off and you know no problem one thing I learned don't sit and babysit your cup it'll it'll drive you crazy because you'll see these little dimples start to form and then you'll want to fix them right away and it's too early to fix them I promise the dimples you can take care of them and I'm going to show you how right now so now that we've been doing this for eight and a half minutes that's almost 15 minutes going that my epoxy is sat for so it's going to be super thick when I use it right now on the other cup. I will have to put another coat of epoxy on this. That's okay. No big deal. Painted cups are a little bit, you know, more challenging. You have to do a little bit different steps with it. So, there's that, okay, I'm going to go put it on my turner. Well, I have a bunch of people who ask me um, my setup here, okay, so, oh, sorry guys, um, so I have my single turner that I make and my four shot, I don't, I prefer my single one. Um, I do make and sell these single ones if you're ever interested. I have my heat lamp pointing straight towards it. Um, that you can get those at Walmart for like five dollars. 
and then you buy the lamp or the bulb it's like seven or something like that and then I also have my space heater and it is on high and max on heat the small little heater does help and I have it far enough away to where it's not blowing anything on my cups but close enough to where the heat is hitting it um you know it's heating up the area okay so this cup it's got dimples I have not sanded it but it has dimples and you can see them you can see where the lights hitting them okay well I'm gonna take my thick epoxy and I'm gonna start working it around the cup the thickness of the epoxy means that it's gonna cure quicker even quicker than what we just put on that other cup and after I after it dries you know I take off my turner I do clean it with rubbing alcohol and my chamois um, and then I set it to the side now because our epoxy has already began to cure in our pinch bowl when it goes onto the cup and it goes onto the turner it's not going to slide around as much okay it's just simply going to cure as it rotates so that it doesn't obviously you know it doesn't uh, run or drip into a lump um, my point is is that by letting it sit as long as it has which is going on 17 minutes that it sat it does go in like not as much goes as far Does that make sense so you you feel like you're dipping a lot more but it's because of the thickness of it and it is settling right into the little dimples and crevices that I have on the cup okay and when it cures it thickens even more therefore because it's not so because it's not running and it's thickening even more as the heat's hitting it on the turner but it's not moving around so it's thickening into those crevices into the dimples if that makes sense I hope that makes sense um, <clears throat> I really hope this helps you guys and I want to reiterate as I try to with every one of my videos and that is don't give up nobody gets this the first time okay I still mess up I still get crap cups I still strip cups I still get angry and want to throw cups I still you know I I still mess up too I don't it's taken me a long time a long time a little over a year to get to where you know I can I can do them pretty quickly um, and I'm not having to go back and forth back and forth back and forth and I'm grateful for that but that also is appreciation towards y'all because you give me reason to want to keep trying all these different methods which makes it you know practice makes perfection um, so just remember nobody does it perfect I don't care what other youtubers say or or you feel about them you know we all do our own thing we all do it our own way but no one gets it the first time I'm sorry it just doesn't happen um, I have also gotten uh, comments about how ProMarine um, cures quicker. It does. I like that about it because I don't always do glitter cups. A lot of my cups are not glitter. Um, and so the heat aspect of your environment for the ProMarine epoxy does have to be pretty accurate which is why I got the thermometer um, now if it starts to really get thick and you can't move it around you can just hit it with your heat gun real quick and it will you'll see it start to separate and like get really thin and run around and you want to quickly quickly get that to where you want it to be because it will quickly cure in the spot that it ends up so you'll be ending up with a bump or a lump or something in a spot where you didn't want a bump or a lump. Um, 
but it does start to get hard to move around and if you just pull at it it will go with you this is on 90% of painted cups okay there's not many that that you're not gonna have this issue with the silicone brush isn't gonna seem to move too quickly um, I've had that question too or that comment too about how the silicone brush seems to act as just like a like a scraper almost um, because it does move it around so much and so easily but if you let your epoxy thicken and then you try and then you start moving it around you'll see it starts to get sticky and then it will settle quicker which is settling in the dimples I don't know if all that makes sense my brain is all over the place guys I apologize I've it's been a very 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 rough couple of weeks um, we got my goddaughter back finally after her dad took her from us for six months her mom and I and my husband and our family and stuff like that and we got her back finally and we had her back a week and then her dad said that he didn't want her around me and well in the temporary orders the judge said okay but that's okay because I will keep my side of the street clean and prove to that judge that I've been a better influence on her than most of the people in her life. At least I hope I am. So my mind is kind of all over the place, so if it seems kind of like choppy right now, I'm sorry with my the way I'm talking. Um, Anyways, yeah. Like I said, I'm not as uh, upbeat and peppy today as, as I normally am, so I apologize for that. Um, and also, while well, I just thought about it, you guys will notice that your cup, or that your epoxy seems to make like this funky bubbly thing, mushroom, almost beginning of a mushroom top at the, at the top of your cup whenever you're using it on non-glitter cups. And, um, if you, if you get it on your turner, they will level themselves out 90% of the time. But that's why I like having tape on the inside because I can just pull that tape up and use an X-Acto knife. But if you can see it now, a lot of the dimples have already gone away just because I put super thick epoxy on there. And so now I'm going to put it on my turner and um, we're going to, you know, get going from there. Now this is a finished cup. The same thing I'm doing right here. Okay. And this was two coats. So, sorry about that, guys. Um, didn't want to go on the turner. Anyways, so you'll notice that your epoxy is super duper duper thick now. Um, and, yeah. So, that is the way to put epoxy on a painted cup. Um, you just got to work it. You got to work with it. And, and I promise it will go on, okay? I do promise it will. Um, it's even going on right now and it's super thick, but I'm just going to quickly move it around on the cup. It's going to cause some dimples, but I'm just going to come back later and do what I just told you guys about. Um, and, and I promise it will work if you guys just keep working at it. Okay. And don't get discouraged and feel free to message me. As I always say, message me on Facebook or um, when you message me on Facebook, my cell phone number will come up. I'm happy to answer my cell phone. I'm happy to text back and all that other stuff. Um, I like get, I like hearing from y'all. 
So in the description of this video will be the link that you can follow to, with a coupon code for Pro Marine Epoxy. It will also have a link for um, the Stainless Steel Depot, which is where I get all my cups. And if you guys order through the Stainless Steel Depot and you put in the coupon code at checkout Team Brandos 5, you will receive 5% off of your entire order. Um, and the cups that, that Irene has at Stainless Steel Depot are amazing. I love them. I only use them now. And I could not be happier with them. Um, super quick uh, shipping. And she does her best to always get... Um, you know everything back in stock as quick as possible when she does run out um, also in the description will be the link for Amazon to purchase the pinch cups these silicone cups and also these brushes so if you guys need anything else please 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 don't hesitate to contact me and don't forget to like subscribe and share and I appreciate appreciate y'all um, and I will See you soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.